Well, thank goodness it's Connecticut. You know, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but in the town of West Hartford, there are 10 installations of art for public viewing, and they're all over town. That's great. I have to look at this. But if you ride the bus, they say there's no way you can miss it because the art is actually in the bus shelters where you stand to absolutely yeah where you get to the, okay. where you stand waiting for the bus but there are the artwork is there for everybody to enjoy bus riders people walking and driving by so this project which went up a few months ago during covid still looks amazing we want to show it to you have you seen the beautiful artwork on the bus stops in west hartford believe it or not they're covid inspired and today we're going behind the scenes to learn a little bit more about the project look there's your name and there's my name how cool is that? That is really, really cool. That's Diane Dixon Alderetti looking at her poem that's been displayed on the bus shelter in the Elmwood section of West Hartford, right outside the CVS. I can't even believe I was chosen, really. I just can't even believe I was chosen. That's wonderful. Because this is so different than all the other ones. You know, it's not like a painting. It's not a landscape. It's not people getting on the bus. Yes, Diane was chosen as one of 10 artists to show their artwork publicly throughout the town of West Hartford. Roxanne Staholik is the executive director of the West Hartford Art League, the organization that got the project started. This was a project that um, originated last March, actually. Um, I was applying for a grant, and I thought it might be a great idea for the town of West Hartford to put art on all the bus shelters. Since people were cooped up, museums were closed, galleries were closed, there wasn't a lot to see. And how many artists are involved in the project? There's 10 artists. There's 10 bus shelters in West Hartford, so that made that easy. We put out a call for artists. We received about 50 entries from all over the state. And um, three jurors, I was one of them, and then there were two others, chose the 10. And what we tried to do was choose. <clears throat> we had no idea who the people were. It was a blind entry. So we chose by images, strictly by images, and tried to choose a variety. It had a variety of messages and images. The artists came from all over the state. It's nice because it's, it's reaching out to artists who, during this period, have no place to showcase their work, mm -hmm. basically. And it's, uh, what a great public forum. Right. It's, I think it's just wonderful. Diane's art is a poem she wrote, translated into three different languages about taking the bus. I didn't know exactly what I was going to do, and so I just started thinking, and the poem just came to me. It was like four hours, ate dinner, four hours, you know, and by the next morning it was done. Because I went to college in uh, Minnesota, I didn't even have a car until I was 23, so I took public transport everywhere, and that enabled me to work and go to school and save money and so you know, you're familiar with the bus very lines. familiar and so that's what the poem is really about my feelings you know in all the need of people being able to get around the installation went up in a pouring rainstorm with help from her printer well, what does it mean for you to be to, to see this this is fantastic I, I mean it's just absolutely fantastic and you know and I love this poem even though it's really kind of obvious it's sort of you know it's not like high art, you know, it's it's uh, for public consumption, you know, and I didn't want it to be esoteric. I wanted it to be, you know, uh, something that people would recognize themselves in. And this, you know, it just, some of it turned out so well. It was just a bunch of hoops. Right. And, but I managed to jump through them all and here we are. Jana Irejo is another artist who was chosen. All right, Jana, your name is up in lights. Uh -huh. How does it? I mean, how does it feel to see that? Oh, I'm just so excited and proud and honored to be part of this project, and yeah, it's amazing to see it. It really is. It's beautiful. And when you found out that you were selected, were you? What was your reaction? I was shocked, so excited, and I felt a little nervous. Um, and I also, it came at a time where I wanted to do something, feel like I could give back something. So I thought this is a chance to. Um, create a work of art that the community could come together and uh, and I love catching the bus. I grew up in Hawaii on the bus stop, so I'm um, taking the bus, so I feel like it's such a great place for everyone to kind of meet in the community. I wanted to create um, a work of art that I could dedicate to essential workers. Um, Some place that as the bus riders are going from home to work and back again, it would be a momentary place where they could feel transported into a secret summer garden. 
mm. and know that we're all thinking of them, so appreciative, and also hope that there'll be brighter days ahead. When you were doing it, it must have been an amazing experience. It was an amazing experience. People would stop their cars in the middle of the street, the bus drivers would stop, people would park and come over, bring their families, and it was a wonderful place to meet people from all over the town and country um, working on this project. I think the great thing about these bus shelters is you can see them no matter what you're doing. If you're driving down the street, if you're walking down the street, you don't even have to be actually be looking for them, but you'll turn your head and you'll see them. It's not like walking into a gallery. And how long is the exhibit going to be up for? We, they've been up since September and we're hoping to keep them up through at least next spring. Oh, great. So they're going to be up for a while. Be up for a while. Major funding for the project was made possible from the Edward C. and Ann T. Roberts Foundation. For more information about the West Hartford Art League, where the project originated from, please reach out to them at westhartfordart.org. So I love it, too, that it's just, you know, we need a little beauty in the world, and absolutely. it's just out there. You don't have to go anywhere. It's just, no, just you're gonna I hope drive they keep by, it forever. Yeah, I know. Like, why can't bus stops and sidewalks, like, they always just be, be art. painted yeah. beautiful, right?